Okay, welcome back everybody to some more Genshin Impact, and as you can see by the character I am using, uh, we are on the secondary account, and we are doing Venti's Story Quest. And then, uh, shortly after Venti's short Story Quest, we are going to be going into the Leeway uh, storyline after that. So, uh, stay tuned for a video of us leading to uh, Leeway's Adora Step. Anyways, without further ado, if you guys like the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, lets me know that my antics are being well known and categorized, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So let's go ahead and do our boy's story. At level 36. And we are on the secondary account, as as stated before. Yeah. Hey, look over there! What is she doing? Oh, uh, that bitch is cracking out. Oh shit, she's on crack right there, bro. Oh shit, that's not that's not good. She's all by herself, right? What's up, Carl? She's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Uh, Paimon's creeped out. I mean, I think we had, we all had an imaginary friend when we were kids, so. What? You mean you used to act like that too? Uh, so. I still act that, like that as an, an adult, to be honest. A friend who hangs out with you sometimes, or do they just exist in your imagination? <laughs> Imag imaginary means in your imagination, clearly. Imaginary. Imagination. Yeah, same thing. Oh, you must mean imagined friend, right? Why didn't you just say I just so? did! So, this imaginary friend of yours, when does Paimon get to meet them? Uh, they they died. Yeah, sadly, they, they got in a car accident and uh, a hobo took shit on their corpse and, uh, Bike chain was involved. Yeah. Seriously? So imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? Well, mine disappeared in the most most tragic way. Oh, Paimon was looking forward to meeting yours. Hey, don't suppose your brother has an imaginary friend too? Well, considering he smokes weed every single day, he probably for sure thinks that that imaginary friend is a real person. So. No way. You are so lucky. No, it's just being a retard in the dollhead. Oh. Have you heard of Why it? Did I open my it's drawer? a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. Oh, traveler! What's up, Venti? meeting you here. Did they change oh, his outfit? Tone deaf bard. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. <laughs> Why does the thought of Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous? Uh huh. Contraptions, now, you say? That's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. For this that particular elegant, that's the word you, Lisa you, you had to use. Some dangerous materials from Sumeru. D dangerous? I would say sexually naive. It's like a regular, regular monocle to me. Monocle? Give me that. <laughs> I know, right? Apparently, though, it's called an Ernama detector. Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it I don't it give a shit what it's so called. Give me the goddamn monocle. And if you have and a top also, pad, I might as well take that too. To see if it actually works. And a fake mustache. Huh? Actually, I could grow Why one out there. Why can't mind. Lisa use it? Hmm. Perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. Why? Because she's always horny? Hmm? Is that why, Venti? Okay, maybe maybe she's sucking your cock in that library. How about that? Maybe that was a contraption, you fucking liar. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So I'm, I'd, I'd rather not, to be honest. I'd rather Go not. Go on, tell us. What does his imaginary friend look like? I'm, I'm one to be attracted to females, but when it comes to... Thirsty bitches, I'd rather not. So. Bitch is scary. <laughs> That would be telling. They're scary, they are. Anyway, it's all yours now, traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. 
Do you see him? Do you see him? Seems like they're best friends. Oh, oh so that does nice? work for you two. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. I can see him because I'm a retard. People say, bless my heart. Alright then, you'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. I think Na uh, Naida's qu um... Oh, no, no, her, her, uh, signature, oh, uh, Fanti's Quest. I didn't even get a chance to read that. The flower shop always seems kind of floaty-headed. You know, Paimon bet she has an imaginary friend. Just watch, if we go over to Character Archive, we're on the secondary account, so we don't have Naida on this account, but we go to Naida. Talents. The Ida can use all schemes to note to interact with some. That's not what I want. Oh, here we are. This is it. This is it. Okay. That's not it. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Enters aiming aiming mode, which will allow you to select a limited number. Oh, no, that's not it. That doesn't look right. Okay, basically, it's probably a hidden skill with uh, Naida's character. It, you like aim down her thing, right? And you could do like we're like let's like for example, what is this? Who is this? Warren or Otto? I think Otto's up there. Who's this? It's Aramis. So you're Naida, right? You you do her aiming skill thing, right? And you basically uh, there's a prompt that it gives you uh, uh, when you do that skill. And you're basically reading his mind when you do that skill with her. I'm pretty sure it's pretty similar to that, the, the monocle that Venti just gave us. We did it plenty of times in, when we first got her in the original playthrough. So. I'll have to show you sometime. Probably one of those like hidden talent things. Like how Rosaria's skills and she has like a sprinting stamina thing that she can do that nobody else can do. Today's recommendation. Wait, didn't I did I do my commissions today? I did. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Get it. Had to make sure. How am I just noticing this? Was that always there? Oh, were those always there? Oh, I am noticing shit that I've never known. I never knew that crest was up there, nor were those either. The banners. How am I? How long have I been playing this game? It's like since 2019, 2018, early 2018. I I played the beta, and I that this I don't remember these being here what I've missed if that's if that has been there then either that I'm a one blind bitch or the other there it is behold a floaty imaginary friend for floaty headed flora a bloody floaty wait imaginary friends can be plants now imaginary friend can be anything <laughs> hi traveler hi bard my imaginary friend was a coke addict named fucking Jeffrey sure how can I help uh, are you two family or? <laughs> you mean me and Mr. Floaty? You get siblings? Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We live together. Say hello, Mr. Floaty. They can see you. <sighs> no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? Because why not? What's wrong with it? Uh, I always wanted to be friends with a plant. Damn, who that could thing fly. charges fast. Friends with a uh, flying I doubt plant? that's fully charged. Why? <laughs> because then, when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Yeah, but you're gonna fall Isn't to your that fucking death. Being blown away. <laughs> that's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. Oh. 
Uh, news on the face cam. Uh, after this stream, it's going to be in the the live streams or and or YouTube videos, depending if the YouTube videos are uploaded. Anyways, the quality of the camera is fucking better than the last one. So the the camera is fucking fucking mint. You get to see my glorious face and all of its long neck glory. Fuck, I said that twice. I think his name was Stanley. Oh, Stanley's bitch ass. Fuck that guy. He he's the guy that's standing right behind me, be, uh, leaning against that tree. Stanley's an adventurer. Yeah, right there. He's right there. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories Not he tonight. tells. The guy that has his head down right there, that's Stanley. <laughs> the amazing Stanley. adventures of Stanley are super famous in Montana. Fuck Stanley's bitch he's ass, alright? You should go ask him to tell you some of his he's stories. He's right behind me. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Yeah, like crack. Floor is a pretty mysterious oh, I know my shit in this game. Hmm, which that? child shall we interrogate next? Clee! This is, oh wait, no, Clee I'm thinking... Oh, how about that little guy on the bridge? When Timmy? Fuck Timmy. Fuck off, Miles. Fuck Timmy's bitch ass. That's why his dad left. Bitch ass nigga. Oh, why are you looking so sad, Stanley? Is it because your best friend died? Okay, that's fucked up. I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna go harass Timmy instead, okay? He's one of the he's one of the Fatui harbingers, so we gotta go fuck with him. Go fuck yourself, Swan. Let's hit the mic. Whoops. Oh. How would he know what that is? No way. Well, uh, that is unexpected. How the fuck would he know what Kay's that is? His imaginary friend is a ruin guard. I've I've heard of guardian guardian angels, but I literally think that's the exact opposite. That's more like you hiring a crackhead for their services as a bodyguard, I guess. Paimon's freaking out right now. I don't know why that I came up with that correlation, but I did. Us. Uh, uh, what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. A line you love to so to say so much. Huh? Paimon has a favorite line? Uh, oh yeah, your annoying ass line. Oh, alright then. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? No, let's not explore it at all. Fuck Rune Guards. Children are more open-minded. Is that why they can think up all kinds of imaginary friends? Ah, <sighs> fitting, isn't it? That the City of Freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. What about adults' imaginations? Let's I don't know what this kid's looking at, but he's looking at me. I'm gonna spit slap this kid. The fuck you looking at? Huh? If anyone tries to shoot my pigeons, I'll get my friend on them. Pew pew! Boom boom! Bang! I'm not gonna lie, my kid will fuck your- my my daughter will fuck your shit up. Here, you can have nice this. Spicy. Uh, it's all yours. Uh, race you. Actually, fuck your bridge. If I wanted to, I can sick- sick Klee on that- br on this bridge and blow it up to sim smithereens. I have to repair it, and then she'll have to- Stay in solitary confinement for like, maybe a week, but if it means getting rid of that bridge, then all, I'm all for it. I shouldn't get caught buying alcohol. I never see you, you here. Gotta try Don Winery's dandelion wine. Fuck yourself, Patton. Hold on, Nimrod is the guy that hangs out over here. He hangs out over here. Why are you right here? I never, I have never seen you right here ever. Why are you here? And Stanley's one of the four drunkards of Mondstadt, so him and Quinn. All right, sorry about that. What the f oh. Was I not supposed to talk to anybody here?
Oh, back. Okay. Uh, oh, my name, Jeff. Oh. The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you oh, miss out on this the fuck fun. boy. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly. <laughs> look at Betty's dopey ass. Okay. Look at him. Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Yes. You're throw alone. you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion, or maybe you've forgotten. I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry, I have no recollection. That's odd. Master Diluc, I'm sure I saw such a vase in your home. A beautiful one, unmistakable in fact. What? How, wait, hold on, how would you know? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing in his home? Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. We we already know by uh, by uh, an old uh, a recent video that I uploaded that D Luke's not gay. So 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 he's he just invite. Oh, it's probably one of his drinking buddies. Probably allows it in his house. So never mind. Then again, D Luke doesn't drink alcohol. I think until well, I like I said, it. a lack of childlike wonder. Oh, is that what you call it? So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? No. Huh? Okay, well, I'm 23 years old. I, I still dream. Wants to grow up. Hmm. This raises an interesting question. I'm more optimistic than how, exactly than more optimistic now than when I was a kid. Disappear. I mean, I was still as Let's creative as a kid, but I'm more so now. Now I have more knowledge of creativity. Hmm. How about Ellen? Someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? Uh-oh. Somehow, Paimon finds the idea of not being able to see Ellen's imaginary friend kind of scary. What's, uh, what? My sister and cousin were playing a little while ago. If you saw... <laughs> Carl, I don't know if you saw my stream uh, yesterday where my cousin was playing Fortnite. Okay. Batteries fully charged still. Okay. Yeah, they were playing not too long ago on, on Fortnite, so... So, let me get this straight. You have a device with which you were trying to see if I have an imaginary friend? Duh. You're wasting your time. And to be clear, 15 years earlier, you still would have been wasting your time. Doubtful. Imaginary friends. Wow. What a fascinating thing to investigate. I would love to join you, really, but I'm already several drinks in. <laughs> I'm leaving. I do not want to be a part of that station. The fuck? It's actually pretty cool, actually. More of a... Jean? What is Jean doing here? I don't really think that's a that's an imaginary friend. That's more like an idol, probably. Is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? Or as, again, it was probably more of an idol. Like, she's wanting to become a knight so bad like Noelle, so... Yeah, she's so conscientious. It's terrifying. Huh? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I want to become a knight. Jean and can't if I got do to go that. on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Uh, each one of these videos, I have to explain, the Mondstadt video-wise, I have to literally explain 
Gene is the acting grandmaster. Only the actual this. That's a good mom. So that's how to do it. I'm impressed. Oh, oh I just thank my you. Books. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I for one think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well, I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. I'm sorry, you think, do you think Jean works out? No, do, do, do you? Because, because we know from that, vi from that video that we know for sure, for damn well, sure, that she is always busy, therefore she doesn't have a workout regimen that she can actually stick to. She probably does work out when she's not as busy, but she doesn't have an actual steady workout regime, so. I work out, working, uh, I have a regime, it's pretty fucking uneventful, but, you know, I still work out. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl, if she can't do it, um, Billy Churl! Ugh. Thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Go fuck yourself? Oh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? You guys, he's probably in the tavern. He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the oh, Lion with surprise. Stanley today. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. We were going to meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> Could you let him know it'll have to be another day? Sure, I was just literally just there with Bennett. We had to, uh, you know, take out a dead body, so. Great. Thank you so much. What, for taking out the dead body? You're welcome, I guess. And Royce literally ate that meal and then died. So, I mean... I had to tell it to his family because technically I'm the one that killed him. Indirectly. So. Anyways, moving on. Yeah. I mean, it was more Bennett's fault because he's the one that told me to cook the meal. He just told me not to piss shit, come and throw up in it. But I did it. So, I mean, I forgot I did when I handed him that thing, so it still happened though. To be honest, Royce was being a bit of a bit of a dick. He was being a massive bitch. Oh yeah, Stanley's gone now too. Yeah, he's gone. Or, oh wait, no, it's nighttime, so he'll be over here, huh? Because you you heard Stan Stanley and Jack are at the thing, and Stanley's not here. Said so during the nighttime, he stays. He sits uh right here, right there, or right here, one of the two. Oh, let me see if he's in the tower real quick. Huh, no. <sighs> nope. Okay, that's a, that's a surprise. Good shit, Genshin. That's attention to death. What the fuck are you doing here? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> they know that they, that they, no. they took the NPCs out. Let's go see if Royce's dead body is still in there. Well, we did have to take it out, so... He's not gonna be here anymore, so... I do remember taking his corpse out. Hello. We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. We didn't bag all the loot last time! I want to see if this venti is better than mine. Oh, it's way worse. Oh, it's way worse. Oh, the energy recharge is pretty much the same. Oh, 
but, but my crit damage is 128.4 on my venti and then my crit rate is 84.7 so i'm hitting uh, with my with my venti i'm hitting crit rates up the wazoo so energy recharge is pretty much the same yeah my venti is very very oh and it's level 58 my venti is max level so level 90 I think he has like a thousand fucking defense attack and then like 36 HP or 36 36,000 HP if you're not counting artifacts. I don't use this bow though. Looks like we can't go any further. Is, is this his actual bow? Not to worry. Allow me. Oh yeah, this is his actual bow. Okay. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. This dopey ass. This thing can go up. There we go. Loot. Hi guys, long time no see. Let's play. Uh, time for take off. <laughs> Wind blade. Oh, pff, ha. Prepare to be blown away. It bugs. No, I wanted to use my. Here we go. Hey, are those guys? Uh. Yahoo! Dude. I'm the frying pan. That's just lightly to hop off my fucking oh. dick. Can get away. You're this <laughs> fucking idiot. Dude. Dude. Soba, get them. Yeah. Wind blade. Yeah. Yeah. feel, bitch, huh? Like that? Fuck yourself. Yeah, you can have that, I don't want it. I mean, it's cool to have, but I think it looks better on you. Just loot right here, give me one second. Just wait. I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you! That echo is hurting my ears. Oh my god. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure. Why is the echo She'll so fucking distoned, bro? Oh, Jesus. I see. I feel bad you had and to come all this way to find me. And open and all then my drinks had to out. rescue Ooh. me. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Fucking sweet. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. Uh-huh. Oh, you are Stanley? You were that legendary adventurer? 
renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who Suck his dick later, Paimon. The mayor Javari? Another water bottle go. Oh, there it is. The very same. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? I well, considering that every time someone talks, I get ear raped because of the echo in the room. I'm going to go ahead and fuck off. <laughs> well, I think you're now in the safe hands of Stanley, the great right. explorer and legend of Monster. I highly fucking doubt. In which case, why head back now? Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. So, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, we really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, renowned adventurer of Mondstadt. Yeah, I think we got that. Well, your attitude says maybe you don't got that. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley, who braved the man Javari. Enough already! Ugh. Stop name-dropping yourself every time you open your mouth! It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. <laughs> well, Jack will listen, won't you? Now, where was I? You and your partner reached the Mare Javari, a famously terrifying place with not a wisp of wind. Precisely. There was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us, as far as the eye could see. The Mare Javari. Suddenly, my partner was caught in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow. So, did he make it? <sighs> Sadly. In the end, I alone was able to set foot on home grail once more, where the gentle breeze carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. Are you guys done yet? That poor guy. How could that happen? Can I get up there? Okay. Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. It's literally an invisible wall right there. All right. I, I know, because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. <laughs> but whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows and to have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt on the wind, that's... that's the truth. Yeah. Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions, like clearing out the slimes clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm, is that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? You done? Finally. Oh, god damn. Brace yourselves. A long ass fucking monologue. Not the monologue, that's just a fucking story. My stories aren't gonna take that long. Gee, actually, you know what? Fair enough. Or the chokey. Huh. 
Howdy, boys. Uh, just, just a. Hurry, you're okay. Don't I, I got this. We got this. Here, you can. Here, you can have that. I don't want it. Uh, you. Give me one second, and my thing is recharging, but I can also need to heal. Now it needs to be recharged again, so I just accidentally pressed it while I was doing that. You're gay. Close your mom. Fuck your mom. Fuck your sister. Fuck your grandma. Fuck your aunt. And most of all, most of all, fuck you. Windblade. Brace yourselves. Traveler, I believe I've made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. Isn't he like a 40 year old man? You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Sense. Interesting idea, but is it true? Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor, and the Shield of Magnificent Honor! I don't know whether you believe me, but... Apparently, both the Sword and Shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two I legendary weapons? I seriously doubted he ever owned these. You bet! This is Stanley we're talking about. Okay. If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aw, poor Jack. Let's help him out. Hard to say no when you're a bitch and like that. Venti, you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Might as well. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, uh, Dada Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry. There's Fucking no time drunk. to lose. Forty-year-old man with a uh... forty-year-old man with the imaginary friend, giving himself an ego. And Joanne Smith is right on the head. With I'll lose up here, okay. Windblade! Blitz! You get a little chiefy. Lo and behold, the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Are you sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear, too. 
Why would hilly trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? Uh, uh, seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm. Wasn't it like 50 Sergeant, years ago? Have you ever seen an animal crystal fly? 100 years ago? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. Ah. Talking out of your ass. You're talking bullshit, pretty much. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dadaupa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? There's somebody there! Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves pass by is all. What? Where? I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Oh, yes, you took it out. So you ran off this way? Alright. I'll get that later. I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay, I need it. Prepare to be blown away. Bye. Bye, baby boy. Oh, he died. I need it. We might as well get it while it's right here, right? And this. Out of the frying pan. In this. Uh. <coughs> Lo and behold, the shield of magnificent honor. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood! A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached! Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of honor? Sure, why not? You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Whatever you say, idiot. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the Shield of Magnificent Honor for free. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churro? Uh -huh. Well, okay. You take it from <laughs> here. Hope you've picked up some hilly trillium by now. If not, there's always body language. Mosimita. It's cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Uh, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. oh, he did not seem to appreciate that. Oh, he did not seem to appreciate that. Your mother. Oh, no. Your mama. We ticked him off big time. Fuck your jump up, bitch. Bitch ass nigga. Give me this, huh? Fuck your Moana. Fuck your Moana. Fuck your Moana, motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, I murked her boys. Give me the shield, bitch. Oh, fuck you. No, you go fuck yourself, bitch. That's my hey, he dropped the shield of magnificent honor and ran. Next yeah, I scared him like a little pussy. Guys, thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. Pussy Mom, ass Dad, bitch. check out the legendary weapons I found. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, wait. Oh. The wine you promised. Oh, I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm. What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? Uh, <laughs> Probably. Uh, hey, I don't know. Hey, what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You um, uh, out for a stroll too? Oh, that's right. An after dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting Awkward. to think Stanley might be a fraud. Definitely for sure. Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Probably. Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Uh huh. Wow. Sure. Well, I admire you your perseverance and your memory too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. Sure. You guys better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichuros. You are a I, uh, horrible fucking liar. I'll get back to my, um, okay. uh, stroll okay. now. Goodbye. I'm agree on that. I think you also know yourself. Guilty uh, conscience, much? No, he's just being well, a bitch. Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Bitch. Although... On further reflection, wow, wow, wow. I must wow. say I'm intrigued. Okay, I'm stop doing that gay ass voice. Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you Off talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. Uh, oh yeah, baby. Wait for night to fall. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Dang, no way. Okay. Oh, why is Dooley, Dooley, D, D, D Luke? Can't fucking speak. You know, I'm glad I actually had the chance to come down here today. The Why's tavern that? isn't overcrowded, and I couldn't be in a better mood. Sure, 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 just sure, 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 sure. Is he at? Oh, there he is. Tell me, Stan. Tell me what should I do? Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? There's another Stanley. Huh, surely not. Even I've never heard tell of a second Stanley. Oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Melchibari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why, Stanley? Why? Oh, that's fucked. 
Oh, that's if cooked. only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me, you would have never died in that windless corner of the world. You were a renowned adventurer, destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never happen, because your life was cut short, and all because of a worthless tag alone. Uh, does anyone get what's going on here? I think Keeping our friend really did make it to the Mayor Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. But the real oh. adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he stole the other Stanley's name? I fear that may be the case. Stanley, for so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mondstadt will forget all about you. So I tell you adventure stories at every opportunity. Mondstadt must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madjavari. He's the greatest adventurer there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I am Stanley. I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. You're probably no. Stan. <sighs> Are you guys planning on eavesdropping much longer? Yikes! We're busted! I think, yeah, I think we are. Yeah, yeah walk over to him now. Can I sit? Go away. Save your questions. And just leave me in peace. But... Leave now. Don't make me tell you again. Honorary Knight, uh, Venti, and Paimon. I'm so glad you guys are here. I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. My parents are finally supporting me. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're gonna pay for someone to fix up the Sword of Brilliant Valor and Shield of Magnificent Honor for me, so I can take them out on the road. That's wonderful! So, Jack, is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? No, not yet. I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> They're what inspired me to become an adventurer in the first place. Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. We'll see you tomorrow, then. After your hangover wears off. Maybe you can tell me some more of your stories? Stanley's really fond of that kid, don't you think? Uh, Jack. Jack. Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Huh? All of a sudden you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Why does Stanley sound like a Fallout 3 NPC or a Fallout New Vegas NPC? Just saying. Just now, I couldn't bear to look at him. He sounds like an NCR His trooper. The adventurous spirit is so pure, unblemished. Just a weary old feckless fraud. But that kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. Mm, you're not a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences, they're all true, aren't they? Stories? Experiences? What's the point of them anymore? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley... They're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all. And my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story. But his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that Jin's he died right. in a windless land. Where his spirit can never be recovered. 
All the, oh, so, and you made an imaginary friend about him? Exactly. Even in his memory, the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No adventurer should have to go that way. No adventurer ever. Hans Archibald. <sighs> My true name? How did you know? <laughs> <sighs> the wind. I, I can hear the wind blowing in the Mare Javari. <sighs> I always believed you existed. Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? you lord barbados i'm sorry it's gonna take me some time to calm back down but i think that i'm gonna be okay ah wonderful stanley reconnected with his true self and jack can finally go his own way this calls for a celebration and by celebration, I do, of course, mean libation. Oh, you mean shit -faced. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? <laughs> no, the wine here's too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. Oh, and he's off. Huh? Where's that supposed to be? Why has Paimon never heard of it? Hey, Tone Death Bar! Ah, uh, the fuck Fido. So that's crazy. So that wasn't an imaginary friend. It was his friend's spirit watching over him. I feel like a dick now. That wasn't an imaginary friend. That was his actual friend's ghost. That's crazy. So his his friend, his, the spirit or the ghost of his friend, was watching over Stanley during these new adventures he went on on with uh, Jack. That's pretty cool. But also, I feel like a dick for doing saying that shit. <laughs> Don't happen. Almost fell off. You made it. Finally. Just tell us where you meet next time, okay? We looked everywhere. <sighs> so, did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Well, sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. When actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. <sighs> this takes me back. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. It was about 2,600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. At that time, Old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Old Mondstadt? Oh, Paimon remembers! Nowadays it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before! That's right. The Tyrant of the Winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, God of Storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the Thousand Winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind, a gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better, or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? 
Without a human form? Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. In old Mondstadt transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. The liar he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn, for the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar, were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Mondstadt began anew, the story passed down, and since then never has another worn its crown. So then what? See, I told you that Venti's a wisp. That's what that's his original form. His form is a wisp and his friend who died who we saw in the that cut scene a second ago is his, is the form he is right now he took the form of his dead friend to keep him essentially alive so similar to stanley with uh with, with stanley uh his friend died so he kept his memory alive by b basically being that person essentially what happened to your friend Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing, Paimon! Uh, go give me a couple apples, yeah? Now's the time you suddenly get a craving for apples? Really? Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Getting a little peckish or something. I'm fucking starving, nigga. What are you talking about? <sighs> Paimon's had it up to here with you! Oh, you want to talk? <sighs> you know, you're so smart it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. Dumb bitch. But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze. <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. I'm listening, Vinti. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. Should should you be trapped in a windless land? The green clad figure is uncharacteristically silent. Sometimes even the L Lissone wind grows grows heavy in its grief, but not not that morals could ever see a moment oh so brief. Huh. Well, on that note, uh, this was Venti's story quest. I have been the Radmat, and if you guys like this.